What's up, TechNobu here for Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Death Totems. Death Totems is a simple plugin that keeps your inventory in a retrievable grave when you respawn. To install a plugin, head over to the plugin section. Search for Death Totems. Install a version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you can download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. Keep in mind that the plugin also requires the Vault plugin to work properly, as well as any Economy plugin. Essentials X would work. You can see what plugins you already have installed by going to the Install tab under Plugins. If you've ever played a Minecraft mod pack with graves, then you already know what this plugin does. After you collect yourself an inventory and accidentally end up needing to respawn, you usually just drop all your items everywhere. If I quickly swim in lava, you'll see that when I respawn, my inventory is clean as normal. But the lava block I was in is now replaced with a death totem. Players can return to this totem to get their items back, or they can use the slash restore command and pay in-game currency to get their items back as you can see in chat. The chat message also lets you know where your totem is located, and if you don't do one of the two actions within the limited amount of time, then your items will be lost forever. Let's go back to the totem and right-click on it. As you can see, our items are dropped onto the ground and our totem disappears. Of course, if this totem is too far for you and you're unable to get back to it, we can check our balance in our economy plugin to make sure we can afford to buy our items back. Slash bell, yes, I can afford to get my items back. Running slash restore, we pay the plugin 500 in-game currency and instantly get our items back. At the same time, our death totem vanishes. When a player runs into another player's totem, they are unable to interact with it. Instead, they see a message in chat saying that it's not their pending death totem. If we manage to not make it back to our totem in time and instead need to respawn again, our first totem will be lost along with all the items in it. There is no death totem queue. Death totems still work in claimed areas, and they aren't able to be used as griefing tools as the block they replace will always be restored. They will replace blocks that aren't solid objects, such as flowers and fence gates. They are immovable blocks and will not spawn if your inventory is completely empty. Admins can see a list of pending death totems with slash dt list. Slash dt shows some information on the plugin, and slash dt help shows us the plugin's commands as well as some help text. The only other command that we haven't looked at yet is slash dt discord, which returns the developer's discord link, and slash dt reload, which reloads the plugin settings from the config. Locate the config in the plugin folder. The plugin is rather simple, so there's only one file with some settings inside. Config.yml contains all the settings you'll ever need. In here, we can change the chat prefix for messages returned by the plugin, as well as some localization such as the death message, recovery message, time up message, not enough money, and some other messages. We can also customize the recovery price to change how much a player needs to pay to get their items back. You can also change the recovery time so players either need to rush back to get their items or pay faster, or you can have a more relaxed time recovering them. When the time runs out, we can enable drop items on time up to drop their items as if a player had died without the plugin, which leaves the items up to the server to despawn. This stops players being able to pay to retrieve their items, but does allow a longer grace period to retrieve them. And of course, we can list disabled worlds so totems don't appear in minigame worlds, hubs, and more. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!